So, you've had your heart broken and you're wondering, why do relationships fall apart? Well, you're not alone. This question has puzzled romantics and scientists alike for decades. And guess what? It's not all about betrayal. Imagine this. Two scientists, Dr. Jessica Griffin and Dr. Pepper Schwartz, have been on a quest for over 50 years to uncover the secrets behind why relationships crumble. They've been watching over 40,000 couples like hawks, observing their ups and downs, and what they've found might surprise you. Now, you might think that cheating is the ultimate relationship killer, but according to these love detectives, it's not even close. The real culprit? Lack of communication, or what they like to call poor communication. Yes, it's not as dramatic as a betrayal, but it's just as deadly. So, what's the magic formula for a lasting relationship? It's all about how you talk to each other and the time you spend together. Sounds simple, right? But you'd be surprised how many couples struggle with this. Let's break it down. There are four main reasons why relationships hit the rocks, according to Professor John Gottman. These are 1. Contempt when you start mocking, ridiculing, or belittling your partner, it's a sign of disrespect that can eat away at your relationship. 2. Criticism constantly pointing out your partner's flaws without offering constructive feedback can lead to resentment. 3. Defensiveness always making excuses or blaming your partner for everything can create a toxic environment. 4. Procrastination ignoring your partner's needs or putting off solving problems can lead to a breakdown in communication. Out of all these, contempt is the worst. It turns your relationship into a competition instead of a partnership. Here's a fun fact. In one study, the scientists could predict with 94% accuracy if a marriage would last just by watching the couples for 15 minutes. One of the biggest clues? How often the partners turn to each other when talking. So, what's the takeaway? Communication is key. Couples who stay together spend 86% of their time together communicating, while those who split spend only 33% of their time doing so. In the end, it's not about avoiding every argument or never having a bad day. It's about how you handle those moments and how you communicate with each other. Remember, it's not the grand gestures that make a relationship last. It's the everyday conversations and the effort to understand and respect each other.